Okay. Uh, so, recording has started. Good evening, everyone. And I can see Slok has put his attendance in the chat box. Real. Okay. Adur must be joining. Okay, Andrew three is there. Yeah. So I am just waiting for Aidur to join uh, because uh, he was removed. Yeah. So I think he has joined now. All right. So let's uh, begin, students. So today is uh, today we are going to start new chapter. That is fifth chapter, uh, and the chapter's name is data handling. Okay. So uh, you can call it as data handling as well. So data data. Uh, both are same pronunciations actually okay so i'm more comfortable calling it data so i will be calling it like that only so i hope you can adjust with it okay so what is uh data basically we are going to learn that first so in your day-to-day -day life you might have come across information such as uh, runs made by a batsman in the last 10 test matches number of wickets taken by a bowler in the last 10 ODIs, mass scored by the students of your class in the mathematics unit test, and the last one is number of storybooks read by each of your friends. Okay, so these are few examples in which we talk about numbers or we, you know, we talk about some statistics. So what exactly is this this is a this is basically information right information so uh, before we like uh, jump into what is data and all that uh, i would like to ask uh, how many of you watch cricket how many of you watch cricket how many of you understand cricket or you like cricket okay someone has raised the hand Ritvi watches the cricket okay anyone else only Ritvi? Either okay all right so two people uh, watch cricket regularly here maybe right so uh, they must be knowing what is test match what is wicket what, what is runs and these are basic concepts i think every everyone must be aware of uh, these things right so that information or the collection of that information is called as data so this is not only limited to cricket or runs or wickets okay so any kind of information if we have collection of information or information collected so that collection is called data so data is usually collected in the con context of the situation that we want to study for example a teacher may like to know the average of heights of students uh, in her class to find this she will write the heights of all the students in her class organize the data in a systematic manner and then interpret it accordingly okay so what does that mean so we have a collection of some information okay now uh, the, in this example the teacher is like teacher want to know average of average heights of the uh, students in the class okay uh, let us suppose up eighth class mein ho, okay so aapke class mein, so there might be few you know uh, short guys few there might be few tall students right kuch log short rete, kuch log tall rete. so let us suppose aapke aap, aapke teacher ne decide kar liya that they want to uh, you know find what is average height average height matlab kya ki lagbhag uh, is height ke aas hamare class ke students ke height hoti hai ya fir hai okay so if uh, your teacher have to do that so what they will do kya karenge wo log they will ask everyone for your height Okay, मतलब आपकी height क्या है वो आपसे पूछेंगे या फिर they'll simply uh, measure it, isn't it? So let us suppose now just put a number in the chat box. How many students are there in your class? How many classmates do you have? 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. How many classmates do you have? Okay, 38. Priyal has 38 classmates. 49, 36. Right? yeah so this is these are number of students that you have in your uh, class so either has 53 students in uh, his class right 
सो अगर हमें एक एवरेज हाइट पता करनी है सो वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू मेजर हाइट ऑफ एवरी स्टूडेंट राइट लेट अस सपोज नाउ आई एम टेकिंग द नंबर 53 मान लो कि आपके क्लास में 53 थ्री स्टूडेंट है सो वट यू विल डू रोल नंबर वन आएगा उसकी हाइट मेजर की जाएगी दैट विल बी नोटेड उसको नोट कर दिया जाएगा रोल नंबर टू रोल नंबर थ्री इस तरीके से सारे 53 थ्री स्टूडेंट्स की हाइट वी विल नोट इट डाउन ओके एंड देन वी विल नाउ दैट अभी जो हमने हाइट नोट की है दैट इज आवर डेटा ओके एंड व्हेन वी ऑर्गेनाइज दैट डेटा नाउ वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस डेटा सो अवर चैप्टर नेम इज व्हाट इज अवर चैप्टर नेम डेटा हैंडलिंग सो दैट मींस वी हैव डेटा बट इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रॉ सम यू नो यूजफुल कंक्लूजंस मतलब हमारे पास डेटा तो है बट वी नीड टू हैव सम यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम इट सो दैट द डेटा इज यूजफुल राइट सो हम इस डेटा को किस तरीके से हैंडल करने वाले हैं सो फिफ्टी थ्री स्टूडेंट्स की हाइट हमने लिख ली सो दैट इज डेटा वी हैव एंड व्हेन वी ऑर्गेनाइज दैट डेटा एंड देन वी केम टू नो दैट दिस इज द हाइट और एक्स वाई जी सेंटीमीटर इज द एवरेज हाइट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन योर क्लास अभी एवरेज हाइट मतलब क्या मतलब मान लो कि लेट अस आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एग्जांपल ओके डोंट टेक दिस नंबर्स एज लाइक यू नो इन रियल मान लो कि आपके स्टूडेंट आपके क्लास में जो स्टूडेंट्स है उनकी हाइट लगभग 140 सेंटीमीटर से लेके 160 सेंटीमीटर के बीच में ठीक है 140 सेंटीमीटर से लेके 160 सेंटीमीटर सो अभी अगर हम एवरेज की बात करें तो बहुत सारे लोगों की हाइट लेटर सपोज 150 है सो वन फिफ्टी विल बी एवरेज हाइट ऑफ योर क्लास मतलब आपके क्लास में लगभग 150 के वन फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर के आसपास के स्टूडेंट्स है लगभग सम ऑफ दे माइट बी 148 फोर्टी एट सेंटीमीटर सम ऑफ दे माइट बी वन फिफ्टी टू वन फिफ्टी थ्री वन फोर्टी नाइन बट इट इज अराउंड वन फिफ्टी ठीक है सो क्या हुआ कि हम एक एवरेज हाइट पता चल गई सो दैट इज यूज ऑफ आवर डेटा राइट नाउ वी हैव रिटर्न दीज फिफ्टी थ्री नंबर अभी ये फिफ्टी थ्री नंबर हमने लिख लिए है सो so, अगर हमें ये पता ना हो नाउ लेट सपोज मैं आपको एक पेपर देता हूं ओके पेपर यानी मतलब कि एक ब्लैंक पेपर जिस पे की सिर्फ फिफ्टी थ्री नंबर लिखे हुए हैं राइट सो विल यू बी विल यू बी एबल टू ड्रॉ इन कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम दैट नो वाई नॉट बिकॉज यू डोंट नो द कंटेक्सट लेकिन मैं अगर आपको बताता हूं कि दिस इज हाइट ऑफ ईच स्टूडेंट इन योर क्लास मैंने जो लिख के आपको दिया है दैट इज हाइट ऑफ योर हाइट ऑफ योर क्लासमेट्स इन योर क्लास एंड यू हैव टू ड्रॉ ए कंक्लूजन और यू हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट इज एवरेज हाइट ऑफ योर क्लास ठीक है सो मैंने आपको कंटेक्स दे दिया कंटेक्स्ट अलोंग विथ डेटा नाउ डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड की वॉट इज कंटेक्स एंड वॉट इज डेटा एनी डाउट डेटा में तो आई आई थिंक किसी को कोई डाउट नहीं रहेगा डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई कंटेक्सट इज ऑल्सो नेसेसरी एनी वन और इज देर एनी लैग इन माई ऑडियो और इज इट गोइंग टू फास्ट आई नीड रिप्लाई स्टूडेंट्स I feel that maybe there is some lag in my voice. Is it? If not, then please respond. अगर आपको कोई doubt है, so you just put I have doubt. I will just try to you know uh, refresh it, uh, uh, re-elaborate it. ठीक है? या फिर we will uh, take some other examples. ठीक है? Yes, no students. Shall we move forward? आगे आगे बढ़ना है? No doubt. Okay. Okay, so uh, since you have confirmed that you don't have any doubt, please confirm: is there any kind of lag in my voice? Is there any lag? Like me, no lag, right? Because me, I'm talking about that. 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 and we know that we are going to organize it or we are going going to handle it to draw some useful conclusions theek okay? hai so why do we uh, organize data or why do we you know work on data to draw some conclusions so first of all we will learn how we represent data or data representation so data is represented sometimes not all the times okay sometimes data is represented graphically to give a clear idea of what it represents 
do you remember the different types of graphs which we have learned in earlier classes so i'm i'm pretty sure that you have uh, you have learned about bar glass uh, uh, sorry bar bar graphs uh, pie charts right so these graphs that you have already learned uh, if i'm not wrong in seventh uh, seventh standard and sixth standard maybe right so now a pictograph so, or, or a pictograph whatever you call it right so pictor a pictorial representation of data using symbols so now this one picture of car represents 100 cars okay so one picture of a car represents 100 car so in the july month so how many cars were produced in the month of july so since we have two and a half pictures over there right there are two and a half pictures so two pictures means 200 cars and half pictures means half picture means 100 cars right or is it 50 cars <laughs> half picture means 50 cars na? yeah so two cars means two sorry two cars two pictures means 200 cars and half picture means 50 cars so in july month how, how much was the production 250 cars were produced right 250 cars were produced in which month were the maximum number of cars produced so can you answer this which month and how many cars in which month most number of cars were produced and what is number what what is number of those cars like how many cars were produced can you just see this picture? See, you have this pictograph ko observe karo. exactly. September is the month where 400 cars were produced, and that number is the maximum number. Right? That is maximum number of cars. Very good. So that was pictograph. Right. Now we have a bar graph. A display of information using bars of uniform width, their heights being proportional to the respective value. So, here we bar graph. Mein hum baat karte. So, bar graph, mein, the width should be uniform or it should be same for all the bars. But the height is proportional to its respective value. Okay. Now, let's, let, let's just, uh, you know, uh, observe this graph, bar graph and try to conclude what it exactly represents matlab ye kis data ko represent kar raha hai what is context behind it okay so let's try to assume or let's try to find it out so on the y axis the vertical axis is y axis so on the y axis number of students in class 8 okay y axis kya dikha raha hai number of students in 8th class number of students in 8th class yeah and the y uh, x axis that is horizontal axis that is showing the year academic years right 2003 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 and 7 8 all right so is the case represent kiya so what it represents okay shlok do you want to say something you have raised your hand so if you want to say something just put in the chat box i want to talk i will give you access to microphone you can turn it on right if you don't want to talk you can you know uh, type it in the chat box if you have any question yeah so bar heights give the quantity for each category bars are equal bars are of equal width with equal gaps in between the gap joy beat me would be same and the width is also same so what is the information given by the graph? So simply it is number of students in class 8 from 2003 to 2008. Do, 2003 to 2008 tak, class 8 students the bar graph. So in which year is the increase in number of students is maximum? Now try to understand the question. Kya question hai? in which year is the increase in number of students of is maximum to kaun se year mein hai now if you observe this graph 2003 2004 mein 100 students were there right wahi 2004 2005 mein the number of students become 2000 sorry 200 my my, my bad 200 right 2004 2005 mein 200 students were 2005 6 mein 
टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सेवन में थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवन एट में इट इज थ्री फिफ्टी नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट ट्रिकी इन विच ईयर इज द इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इज मैक्म इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इज मैक्म नॉट मैक्स नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हमें मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स पूछा है क्या नहीं इंक्रीज इन मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ देखो अभी श्लोक ने आंसर दिया है 2007-8 आई थिंक इट्स नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर हाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन जस्ट अ मिनट या या सो इट्स 2004-5 बिकॉज 3-4 में 100 स्टूडेंट्स थे और फोर फाइव में इट बिकम द नंबर बिकम्स टू हंड्रेड मतलब हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट इंक्रीज हुए राइट विच इज मैक्म बाकी इयर्स में अगर आप देखोगे तो इट इज फिफ्टी ओनली राइट जस्ट अ मिनट स्टूडेंट्स फेसिंग सम डिफिकल्टी विथ माउस एक्सेप्ट माई पोलॉजी या आई एम बैक ओके so see uh, in which year is the number of students maximum so the third ka answer hai that is the answer given by shlok it is 2007 8 2007 mein there are maximum number of students to so, state whether a uh, true or false abhi true or false kya hai hame find out karna hai the number of students during 5 6 is twice that of थ्री फोर अभी तीन दो हजार तीन चार में जितने स्टूडेंट्स थे उसके ट्वाइस स्टूडेंट्स टू थाउजेंड फाइव सिक्स में है या फिर नहीं है ट्रू और फॉल्स इज इट फॉल्स या इट्स फॉल्स बिकॉज इट इज मोर देन ट्वाइस राइट या वेरी गुड no double bar graph a bar graph showing two sets of data simultaneously that is called as a double bar graph so it is useful for comparison of the data so let us suppose we want to compare uh, two entities right so in that case we can use a double bar graph now we have one more bar graph given here so marks obtained by a student and the subjects are given math science uh, social science english and hindi right so the comparison given com comparison is given between 2005 6 and 2006 7 right matlab do saal ka comparison yahan pe diya hai this graph is only for one student right and then there are subjects and academic year so what is information given by the bar double bar graph here so i just told you what information is given here right so let us just answer uh, remaining questions so in which subject has the performance improved the most in which subject has the performance improved the most so which is that subject students is it maths yeah so if you see in 2005 6 there were 30 marks in mathematics subject right but in 2006 7 the marks become 60 right so there is uh increase of 100% right the marks have become twice or double so the answer for this question is maths in which subject has the performance deteriorated so which is that subject english is the subject right the performance decreased in which subject it's english yeah so in which subject is the performance at par which is the subject hindi right the performance is at par neither increased nor decreased right okay so think discuss and write so uh, now we have some examples here we have some questions to solve here and uh, we are just going to simply uh, you are just simply going to name which graph will be uh, useful to show this uh, uh, data okay matlab aapko 
एक गेस करना है कि वेदर अ पिक्टोग्राफ और ए बारग्राफ और ए डबल बारग्राफ विल बी सुटेबल टू शो दिस डेटा ओके नाउ नंबर ऑफ वॉच इज सोल्ड इन जुलाई अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर सॉरी अक्टूबर नवंबर एंड डिसम्बर राइट सो इसके लिए कौन सा ग्राफ विल बी यू नो मोर सुटेबल पिक्टोग्राफ बारग्राफ और ए डबल बारग्राफ देर आर थ्री ऑप्शन बारग्राफ विल बी कन्वीनियंट राइट बारग्राफ आसान होगा ड्रॉ करने के लिए Yeah, so it 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 has to be bar graph only. Okay, now let's just uh, see second question. So here we have children who prefer walking and cycling. So school A, school B, and school C. So there is comparison of three schools, right? And the stu uh, the comparison is between the students who like to you know prefer to walk and to cycle. So which bar graph will be convenient to show this data? जो क्वेश्चन टू में डेटा दिया है विच ग्राफ इज मोर कन्वीनियंट फॉर अस डबल बार ग्राफ इज इट या वेरी गुड बिकॉज देर आर दिस कंपेरिजन राइट बिटवीन द स्टूडेंट्स हु और द चिल्ड्रंस हु प्रेफर टू वॉक एंड द चिल्ड्रंस हु प्रेफर चिल्ड्रन हु प्रेफर टू साइकिल राइट सो दिस कंपेरिजन सो व्हेन वी हैव कंपेरिजन वी यूज डबल बार ग्राफ नो परसेंटेज विंस इन ओडीआई by eight top t cricket teams so yahan pe see we have to again we have to do comparison right from champions trophy to world cup 06 and last 10 odi in 07 right so yahan pe bhi two entities are there so which uh, graph will be there double bar graph yeah so double bar graph will be more convenient for us to uh, use okay so i'm sorry for the interruption yeah uh, so organizing data now this was just a refresher of what we have learned in the last standard right so i i think you have learned about uh, bar graph double bar graph and pictograph in the class 7th right or 6th now the things that we are going to learn i don't think you have learned so these will be quite new things for you and i you know i request everyone to Uh, let me know if you have any kind of uh, difficulty in it so rithvi and uh, uh, priyal has left i guess and two students are there okay i don't know what is the issue with these students uh, okay there may be there may be you know a network issue we cannot do much with it yeah so let's let's jump on to the main topic that is organizing data usually data available to us is in unorganized form called raw data to draw meaningful inferences to draw meaningful inferences we need to organize the data systematically for example a group of students was asked for their favorite subject the results were as listed below all right so now let us suppose we have some data okay students do you uh, are you facing any issue with okay those two haven't joined it i guess anyways okay so uh, uh sh who's the new student who's raising the hand please put your queries in the chat box only right first of all you are very late to the class it's almost 25 minutes late and your name is not you know uh, correct ufo with shreya this is not the acceptable name a uh, name in our class i i think you must be knowing that right you have to be uh in the class with with proper name not with like such names right so if you have any query you can use this chat box okay yeah so we were talking about organizing the data why it is necessary okay so just let us just uh find out the need of organizing data matlab ki data organize karne ki zarurat kya hai so we need see now there is one example given over here 
सो अ ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट वॉज आस्ट फॉर देयर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट अभी एक ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट है उनको उनके फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट की लिस्ट या, या फिर फेवरेट uh, सब्जेक्ट के लिए पूछा गया राइट right? so everybody uh, or the, the, the students have answered like arts mathematics science sub, english mathematics arts english so it is repetitive okay so the list is given over there so now if i ask you to con to draw a conclusion matlab ek conclusion nikalo ki which is the subject that is most liked subject ya fir kaun sa aisa subject hai which is mostly liked by uh, the students so can you able to like you know draw the conclusion from this data we have the data what is data now yahan pe jo list di hai that is data which shows that you know okay so shlok is saying that art is the uh, subject that is mostly liked by students so this is a this is very less data bahut kam data hai so we can find out by observing it but not necessarily प्रिसाइजली uh, मतलब जो हमारा प्रिसीजन है या फिर द करेक्टनेस दैट विल हेम्पर ठीक है सो इफ वी ऑर्गेनाइज दिस डेटा एंड देन वी ड्रॉ द कंक्लूजन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट ओके सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस सो नाउ सी इट इज नॉट इजी टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन लुकिंग एट द चॉइस रिटर्न हपाजार्डली सो वी अरेज द डेटा इन द टेबल फाइव पॉइंट वन यूजिंग टेली मार्क्स तो जो हमें डेटा दिया है व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो वी आर फर्स्ट गोइंग टू लिस्ट द सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट लिस्ट सो देयर आर फोर सब्जेक्ट्स आर्ट्स मैथमेटिक्स साइंस एंड इंग्लिश राइट सो वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू काउंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू पुट अ टैली मार्क इन दिस टैली मार्क्स टेबल राइट सो आई आई होप यू यू नो हाउ टू काउंट दिस राइट सो आर्ट्स इज लाइक्ड बाय सेवन स्टूडेंट्स मैथमेटिक्स इज बाय फाइव स्टूडेंट्स science is by four students and english is by sorry science is by six students and english is by four students so from this table we can conclude that arts is the subject or art is the subject which is liked by most of the students or most liked subject right so which method was easy the second method the second method or the first one which method is easy what do you think i'm talking about a large data okay if we have a large set of data we have lot of entries then which method is convenient the first one or the second one obviously the second one because in the second method we are organizing the data and then we are drawing the conclusion which assures us or, or which gives us the guarantee that our results are going to be 100% correct right okay so any doubt students do you have any doubts i i don't i don't think that you must be having any doubt because it's pretty easy right okay so this is one of the example now the number of tallies before each subject gives the number of students who like that particular subject this is known as the frequency of that subject okay now 7 is the frequency of arts if 5 is the frequency of mathematics so why it is frequency so frequency is the word which is derived from the word frequent okay you know what is frequent matlab bar bar ek ek agar koi cheez bar bar hoti hai na so we we, we don't say like ye cheez bar bar ho rahi hai so we say it this is happening frequently right so frequency is the word which is derived from the word frequent so frequency matlab kya the arts is the subject that is being that is being repeated seven times or it is coming frequent how many frequent uh, how frequently seven times so the frequency is seven right so the frequency gives the number of times that a particular entry occurs right so from table 5.1 frequency of students who like english is four frequency of students who like mathematics is five the table made is known as frequency distribution table as it gives the number of times an entry occurs so yeah do you have any doubt with regards to frequency i don't think uh, students please please i request uh, both of you to please be respo uh, responsive okay uh, whenever i ask a question you just you can just drop a yes or you know 
the short answer that like you know that that make sure that uh, that gives me the clarity that you are, you are listening to what i'm talking about okay yeah thank you for your uh, responses okay uh, let's move further now uh, we have an activity to do here try this a group of students were asked to say which animal they would like to most like most to have as a pet so the results are given below dog cat fish rabbit so these are the four animals that are given here you need to draw a frequency table for this and then we uh, then you can conclude which is this see this is this activity is very similar to this uh, problem that we have solved earlier right yeah no grouping data so the data regarding choice of subjects showed the occurrence of each of the entries several times for example art is liked by seven students mathematics is liked by five students and so on so this information can be displayed graphically using a pictograph or a bar graph sometimes however we have to deal with a large data for example consider the following marks out of 50 obtained by obtaining mathematics by 60 students of class 8th as i said earlier ki agar hamare paas less number of entries hai or if we have a less amount of data so it is convenient to use the manual method matlab hum manually bhi observation karke we can draw the conclusions right but let us suppose we have a large set of data so we need to have methods to organize or to group or to sort out that data okay so in this case hame kya karna hai we have to okay we have a data here and abhi hame yahan pe data diya hai so first of all we are going to uh, organize this and once we organize this and we have a graph graphical representation of it or a uh, you know a, a, a graph of it then we can draw any conclusions that are necessary matlab agar hame koi bhi char questions diye jate hain ya fir eight questions diye jate hain so we can answer those questions very effectively if we organize this data properly theek hai so if we make a frequency distribution table for each observation then the table would be so long to dekho abhi what is happening here 60 students hai right 60 students hai aur marks out of kitne hai marks out of 50 hai so how many possibilities are there kitne marks ya fir kitne possibilities hai ki kitne marks kitne entries ho sakte hai how many entries can be there how many entries can be there in our data we are just drawing a we are just drawing a, or, or we are just assuming a, a imaginary situation six how is that six possibilities no dekho आपके मैथमेटिक्स की टेस्ट हुई है ओके आपको 50 में से कितने मार्क्स आ सकते हैं व्हाट इज पॉसिबिलिटी हाउ मेनी पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर कितने पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं किसी को एक मार्क आ सकता है किसी को दो आ सकते हैं किसी को तीन किसी को चार नॉट 50 इट इज एक्चुअली 51 अगर किसी को जीरो आता है तो राइट सो 51 पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर right including zero there are 51 possibilities so if we have to draw that frequency table to us frequency table mein we need to draw 51 rows that is possibility not necessarily we have to draw it okay so don't you think that is too lengthy matlab thoda zyada hi lengthy hai na agar char rows banane hain ya fir let us suppose Five, six, yeah, for max to max, eight, yeah, for ten rows, that's enough. But drawing a fifty, fifty-one rows is a bit complicated. I feel so, and that too for sixty students. For the sixty students, for me, you know, one fifty-one rows, I will not draw. From that, better, what I will do is I will count it manually, and we can draw the conclusion, any conclusion. Yeah, for that, ascending, descending, maybe if you organize it, so that will be again helpful. राइट तो फ्रीक्वेंसी वाली मेथड तो अभी यहाँ पे जो फ्रीक्वेंसी टेबल वाली मेथड हमने सीखी वो तो यहाँ पे काम में आने वाली आर यू गेटिंग वाई बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ रिजल्ट्स 51 पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर 
ठीक है पचास में से मार्क्स हम निकालने वाले ना सो दे देर आर लॉट ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज सो लॉट ऑफ रोज आर गोइंग टू बी देर एंड द गोल बिहाइंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द डेटा इज टू रिड्यूस अवर एफर्ट्स टू रिड्यूस द स्पेस टू रिड्यूस द यू नो कैलकुलेशन तो कैसे कर सकते हैं नाउ सी If we make a frequency distribution table for each observation, then the table would be so long or too long. For so, for convenience, we make group of ten observations. So observations say zero to ten, ten to twenty, and so on, and obtain a frequency distribution of number of observations falling in each group. Thus, the frequency distribution table for the above data can be. So, here we have done what? Instead of you know uh, considering each number. हमने ग्रुप्स तैयार किए कैसे ग्रुप्स जीरो से लेके टेन मार्क्स किसी को अगर पढ़ते हैं तो टेन से लेके ट्वेंटी अगर किसी को पढ़ते हैं तो ट्वेंटी से लेके थर्टी अगर किसी को पढ़ते हैं तो सिमिलरली थर्टी से लेके फोर्टी फोर्टी से लेके फिफ्टी फिफ्टी से लेके सिक्सटी ओके तो फिफ्टी से लेके सिक्सटी डजेंट मेक सेंस बट सिंस आई थिंक किसी तो एक स्टूडेंट को फिफ्टी मिले सी राइट तो We make groups. Group तैयार किया हमने अभी जीरो से लेके टेन के बीच में कितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं तो यहाँ पे टैली मार्क करते हुए हमें मिला कि दो स्टूडेंट्स हैं जिनको कि जीरो से लेके टेन के बीच में मार्क्स मिले हैं राइट टेन से लेके ट्वेंटी के बीच में टेन स्टूडेंट्स को मिले हैं ट्वेंटी से लेके थर्टी ट्वेंटी वन स्टूडेंट्स थर्टी टू फोर्टी नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी सेवन स्टूडेंट्स एंड फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी वन स्टूडेंट ओके सो नी है A much, a much concise day, a table, right? यहाँ पे कितने rows हैं? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows are there. तो so six rows हैं. And अगर हम manually करने जाते हैं हर एक number को लेके, so it would have been fifty one rows. So which one is convenient? Obviously the method that we are following is convenient, right? So data presented in this manner is said to be grouped. and the distribution obtained is called grouped frequency distribution to humne jo yahan pe frequency distribution ya fir frequency find out ki hai that is group frequency distribution because we are you know drawing frequencies for group values it helps us to draw meaningful inferences like most of the students have scored between 20 to 40 marks kya conclusion hai most of the students have Scored between twenty to forty marks. Eight students have scored more than eighty marks. Sorry, forty marks. ठीक है. So यहाँ पे no more than forty marks मतलब क्या? यहाँ पे तो seven ही दिखा रहा है. So this one fifty is also more than forty, right? So that one of students and these seven students that makes eight students. ठीक है? तो इस तरीके से We can use different methods to organize our data. ठीक है. So I don't want to rush too much. मैं ज़्यादा जल्दबाज़ी नहीं करना चाहता हूँ. So I just want to know if uh, you are okay with whatever we are learning. जो हमने uh, grouping of data सीखा, uh, या फिर organizing data सीखा, या फिर जो कुछ भी आज हमने सीखा है. अगर उसमें कुछ आपको doubt है, you can put it in the chat box. I will try to answer it. And if you don't have any doubt, I think we should say uh, bye bye a little early today. Okay, so I'm just waiting for your confirmation, students. Do you have any doubts or not? If you don't have any doubts, then we are uh, we are okay to say bye bye, right? Any doubts? Okay, I take your silence as no. Okay, I take your silence as no that you don't have any doubts. Yeah, so that's it for today, students. Uh, I will I will see you next week, right? Till then, take care and uh, yeah, uh, keep doing your homework and studies, right? So let us say bye bye, students. I declare this class as ended, and you are free to leave the class. Bye everyone. Bye both of you. Bye Shlo. Bye Idu. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah, bye, 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 Shlok.